Welcome to another video from the ssvideos.com. Today I want to show uh, uh, you how to use a VST drum module to record uh, your drums for any tracks you have in Saw Studio using MIDI Workshop step draw uh, recording. So you don't need a uh, MIDI controller. So uh, I have this little guitar part here I made. <laughs> don't need to click anymore and what first thing you're gonna do is uh, attack uh, open up your VST onto the track you want it then you're gonna come up here and assign the uh, MIDI workstation virtual port and this is the port I'm gonna be using in MIDI workshop so I'll, I'll select that and I can just X out of there I go into MIDI workshop and down here I right click and you can select the port I've already selected but I'm just showing you and VST1 and channel 1 and watch the video on setting up your MIDI device uh, setup videos and I'll, I'll show you how to set that all up and here you can see this is where your input is when you right click and I don't have anything selected because all I'm gonna do is use step draw I'm gonna I put the the gridded to fourths and uh, I've got the grid mode on with the G key and I'm gonna use the step draw which is the D key the cool thing is that when you use step draw and you're in live mode you can hear the drum hits let's go over here and let's bring this down a bit okay so I can hear all my drum hits. So now I can just pick the, uh, you know, pick the drum so that I want to put in easily. So I'm, I'm gonna go down to some basses. I got my three basses uh, hits there. I want some crashes. And uh, let's let's hear all that sounds. That's okay. Now I can. Um, I want to ride. Uh, oh, ride after that. Just all I'm doing is left clicking them in. And this can ride us into the, the beginning of the first verse, if you will. So that sounds like. Okay. Let's go back to our bases. Put in a simple 4-4 uh, four, four beat here. See what that sounds like. Oh, and then we're gonna need some hi hats. Let's see what we got. Okay, so let's um, let's uh, let's get, let's just move this up to. Uh, I'll just get rid of it and put in a. Uh, a crash here. Yeah. So, let's see how that goes. That's nice. Okay. So right here I'm just going to select this region right there. I'm gonna control backspace. I copied it over. I'm just going to move this one down. Um, move this one right down to here. And now I can just copy and mark that region. Let's go up here. One second. Uh, oh, I should be here. 
and okay so now I can see let's see if I'm still, oh yeah okay I can use the tracks up here as my guide and just control backspace how many times I need that there and then let's uh, let's go back home makes a bit smaller <laughs> Okay, let's put a crash in here. Oh. There we go. And I think that should do it for now. I'll give you this gives you a, um a good understanding of how to do it, and you can go through the whole song and set it up and put anything you want in it and change levels and everything. The good thing about, um, one thing I like about these VSTs is I can just go in here and use the mixer to change all the levels and put in effects and do anything I want. So I hope it helps you out and uh, just know that you can use your VST drum modules or your, your, your VSTs period and record them it, into MIDI Workshop without using a controller and just step recording in if you want to. Okay? And uh, thanks for stopping by, and there'll be many more videos to come.